this is the E-Flight Icon A5 and uh, I found uh, I found a few points that weren't uh, weren't very sturdy and uh, and made a few modifications um, the first thing I noticed was the tail was very weak so I've added uh, three miniature popsicle sticks here with an acrylic glue um, let them cure very nice and hard there and then taped over it um, with this foam to foam modeler's glue I have an acrylic uh, dries uh, hard and shiny and on the other side a uh, full size popsicle stick from here to here and uh, white electrical tape over them and the next thing um, I uh, did the water maiden or tried to do the water maiden and I get water. This is this has suffered a, a catastrophic crash before I bought it. Um, it was put back together, and I and I and I uh, tried to make it watertight, but I guess I didn't do very well because the water got in, um, burnt out my rudder servo, and I couldn't uh, uh, didn't uh, didn't bother taking off after that. Um, and so I've got a a balloon glued down over the uh, servo now, glued glued all the way around it, around it and the uh, mouthpiece of the balloon goes up the shaft, the uh, push rod I should say. So uh, very unlikely that water will get in there. Um, I did the water maiden since, uh, got a little water in there, not much, uh, didn't do any, didn't, didn't affect anything, but I'm going to tape all the way around with tape now next time. Um, and then, uh, then the next thing that happened, uh, my uh, I noticed I had a big split in the plastic from way up inside there, uh, across and all the way down to here, uh, split wide open. Uh, so I glued it up uh, nice and solid with this again, and uh, and I put these wing struts on. Uh, it was just a wooden dowel and uh, screwed a. Uh, for anchors, screwed a screw into each end halfway in and then glued them in here um, and painted them white. And then uh, I felt the tail was awful waggy, flopping around a little bit, very delicate. So I made these guy wires out of uh, fishing leaders. Uh, the anchors are uh, just uh, fishing hooks with the hook cut off, the shaft and the eye, um, shaft glued in there, let it cure, and then uh, and then I gotta stretch, uh, gotta stretch the tail a bit to get those uh, to get the other end, uh, the swivel on the other end uh, into the into the hole and snapped, um, but uh, it all worked out. Oh, and then. Uh, and then I noticed after that, uh, uh, she does really nice, uh, I can't take off with the wheels off, can't take off on the grass, but she does real nice touch and goes. So, cut some uh, plastic out of a uh, jug of kitty litter, fold it over, make a crease for the keel, glued it on there. I'll stand up with the grass, but... Uh, does a nice touch and go. And then um, started flying it in high winds. Uh, noticed the wings uh, flapping around like a seagull. This uh, grace patch is just to cover up my personal information for this video. I uh, have my Mac number on there, my name, phone number, mailing address, email address. Uh, and uh, yeah, then so the w high winds, the wings are flapping like a seagull. So I put some full length wing scars. They've got two, I think it goes, I think the, the large one, which isn't real large, goes from here to here through the fuselage. And the smaller one, I think, behind it goes here to here through the fuselage. Um, I did uh, wing scar here to here on both wings. 
cut out the groove, gouged it out, uh, embedded them in there deep. Um, this Elmer's Fix All, uh, kind of a, a silicone based glue. Um, puts them in there, and you got the got the spires in, let it dry for uh, half an hour, um, and then filled the hole with the uh, Elmer's Fix All, smoothed it over with a business card. And uh, after it three day, cured for three days and then covered it with white electrical tape. And since I was already doing that, I put white electrical tape all the way around here, uh, both sides where the wings connect to the fuselage. And now let's go flyer. <laughs> 